Hey dolls, it's Theodore here for Ask Theodore Thursdays. I hope y'all are having a fabulous week, getting ready for the holidays. Are you done with your Christmas shopping? Please let me know in the comments section because I am just about wrapped up, but there's always somebody that is like waiting to the last minute and I wanna know if that is you. Anyway, I have three fab questions from different dolls that have different dilemmas. And hopefully while they are doing their Christmas shopping, I will be helping them with their hair at the same time. We are multitasking today. All right, so our first question is, Theodore, I really, really, really like your videos, exclamation point, thank you. My hair is naturally black in color and I recently dyed it um, light ash brown. I have really pale skin and I don't like my current hair color. My friend has been asking me to dye my hair yellow blonde or platinum blonde. I was wondering what color I should get my hair dyed. Please help me, thank you. This is um, Regina Jessica and she's 16. All right, if you're super pale, I do not, do not recommend anything like a yellow blonde at all. If you wanna go blonde and your hair is black, I would definitely stick with the platinum route just because that is the best way to, to rock that look is if you do have that dark hair, it's just go platinum. It's very harsh on your hair and it's super high maintenance, but it can look really amazing. Uh, think Michelle Williams. Obviously she's more of a natural blonde, but I love that beautiful platinum on a pale person when it's done right. The tone is super important. The makeup you wear is super important. The clothes you wear are super important to really make that color palette work. It's very high maintenance, but like I said, it can be pretty fantastic. But I would definitely steer clear of yellow. All right, our next question is, um, ha, I don't know how to say this, Hazira Naomi from Singapore. I hope I said that right. I was born with ringlets. Oh, actually, her question was quite long and involved and involved lots of photos, which is great, but I decided to uh, edit the question down for the show. So, here we go. I was born with ringlets, but not from the top. My hair is straight from the roots and ringlets start curling around my ears. My mom told me I lost the curls as I grew. Not sure why, but she thought maybe it's because she kept cutting my curls away. And maybe this is the reason why my hair is in this state now. Other than, than the weather here and the very bad chemical treatments I've done to my hair in the past, dyed my hair several times, rebonding, perming, etc. From what I see, my hair got worse after I went for digital perming and nothing seems to treat my hair better now. My hair is one of my insecurities that affects my daily life. I can't go out with nice, silky, smooth hair. I either put it in a bun or braid it. Should I continue keeping up with the routine I'm doing with my hair now um, that does not help to treat it, change product or, or do something about it, what would it be? First of all, I wanna answer part one of the question. Part one is basically when you cut your hair, can that affect your texture in the future? The answer to that is absolutely no. That is a major myth that I've heard so many times. And the fact of the matter is hair is a dead protein. If you cut your hair and it's curly on the end, it doesn't have anything to do with how it's gonna grow back. A lot of times what happens is that people will cut their hair and their texture will change naturally over time. So basically those two things are happening at the same time, but they don't necessarily have anything to do with one another. If you do a chemical process to your hair, it is not permanent, meaning it's not going to last forever. As your new hair grows, that new hair is untreated. That new hair has not had any of those chemicals on it. And so basically the point is, of my, answering this question is basically no. There is no way that you can cut your hair and affect the texture forever. Not gonna happen. So the other answer is absolutely, I would stay away from these texturizing processes that you're doing because clearly your hair is not responding well if you're having to do so much work and so many treatments to keep it up. I would try and grow out all of those chemicals from your hair and just keep it really, really simple, nice and hydrated. Stay away from too many hot heat sources. Make sure that your flat iron has a temperature control so that you're not over flat ironing. Um, so those are some tips that I would recommend, but I would steer clear of the chemicals and um, 
basically your mom did not mess up your hair. So that's my answer to that question. Okay, the next question, let's see here, is, hey Theodore, I love watching your Ask Theodore Thursdays, even though most of the questions do not apply to me, uh, because they are so informative and entertaining, I love them. Just watched the newest Ask Theodore Thursdays, and I finally decided to ask you a question about my terrible split ends. Let's see what this is, okay. First of all, let me share with you a little bit about my hair care routine. I have straight virgin hair that goes down to the middle of my back. I take very good care of my hair and I never use any form of heat on it. Wow, that's a miracle, okay. Um, at least I haven't for a very long time. Okay, now I believe you. Uh, I can't remember the last time I did. I use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair when it's wet and I wash my hair every three days and always rinse with cold water. I use the middle of the road shampoo and conditioner, if that means anything, okay? And I take B complex vitamin daily. The last time I got a haircut was around the start of October. Doing all of these things have made my hair healthy, shiny, smooth um, from root to tip, but I'm still plagued with a ton of split ends. My split ends are all over my hair, not just the ends. I know the only way to get rid of them is to cut them, which I'm building up the courage to do but I would just like to know what I'm doing wrong so that I can prevent the split ends after, so this cut doesn't happen again. I feel like I'm doing everything right for my hair, but it seems that every day I have more and more split ends. Please help L14 from Wisconsin. All right, L, or maybe it's L-E, E-L-I-E. I would say that's L-E. Here's the thing, it sounds like you are absolutely doing everything right for your hair. It sounds like your hair generally is in great shape. The thing is, split ends do happen. And if you got your hair cut in October and you're having split ends now, it just means that you're ready for a trim. It sounds to me like you need to be on a six to eight week trim schedule to keep your hair really fresh. And because of the length, it's almost impossible for you not to have split ends just because that hair that's down there, that's like all the way down here, it's just older hair and it's not gonna last forever and be in the best shape forever. So at the end of the day, it's like that hair needs to go to make room for that beautiful hair that you're growing because you're doing all the right things. Um, the other thing that you could do is add layers to your hair, which will just sort of soften everything and you won't have that like consistent strand to deal with. You'll just be able to have a little bit more layers, a little more softness, and also too, the split ends wouldn't be as evident as well. So basically you just have to trim your hair. That's really the story. Um, there's nothing that we can do to basically have hair that will last forever and look amazing and not need trimmed. Definitely you'll want to keep trimming in your schedule of what you're doing. Okay. Oh, that's it. I'm like, how many more do I have? That's it. Oh my gosh. All right, dolls. Thank you so much for watching Ask Theodore Thursdays. I love answering your questions. Please send them all to ask at theodoreleaf.com. I hope you all are enjoying the holiday season. Let me know if you're done with your Christmas shopping in the comment section. Give me thumbs up on this video, please. And if you're not already, please be a doll and subscribe. All right. Bye, dolls.